My Lord, I, I appear for the applicant in this uh, matter. It is a uh, renewed application for permission, a uh, sentence having been passed on the 21st of May of this year, uh, and permission refused by Mr Justice Stewart on the 22nd of July uh, of this year. My fellow judges and I welcome the commencement of broadcasting in the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal has been open to the public and to journalists, of course, for a very long time. The bringing of cameras into the Court of Appeal and the recording of its proceedings will enable those to be understood much better by the public as a whole. We hope it will increase confidence in the administration of justice. Today's a landmark day. Uh, it's a very important, significant day when one of the highest courts in the land, the Court of Appeal, is allowing cameras uh, to broadcast what is happening there. Uh, it's important to remember that uh, there has to be a balance uh, as we go towards the process of transparency and openness. Uh, the balance will be to ensure that the public see what the judges say, what the lawyers say. Uh, but we have to protect the victims and witnesses. Uh, and because of that, uh, there will no, there'll be no filming uh, of those people. And indeed, there aren't any jurors in the Court of Appeal, so that doesn't apply. Uh, and we've been very keen on having that balance. It's taken two years to get to where we are. Detailed discussions with the judiciary, with the broadcasters, uh, and with the Minister of Justice. Uh, this is the way forward. Uh, we have to ensure that there's openness and transparency in the judicial system. Uh, and what we're trying to do is to make sure that the public can see what really happens in the courtroom. Uh, most people will never want to go near a courtroom in their entire lives, uh, but there's still an element of mystique there. Last year, there were just under 9,000 uh, cases in the Court of Appeal, both civil and criminal, uh, and uh, the broadcasters will be able to decide which cases they wish to broadcast, and that should give the public a good selection to have a view as to what really happens. But as I say, it's important that we have a balance and victims and witnesses uh, will not be filmed because we want to make sure that they are not in any way intimidated in coming forward. This is not going to be American style uh, O.J. Simpson's uh, ty type of uh, cases. Uh, th that is where everybody gets filmed, anything that happens in the courtroom. That's not going to be the case here. And of course, we have to remember that in Britain, uh, the judiciary is a separate element of our constitution, and they will have the final say. Their prime purpose is to ensure that justice is done properly. And if at any time they feel that uh, whatever the trial is that they are engaged in, if it is going to be compromised in any way, then they will be able to stop broadcasting.